Alright, welcome back. I'm Sean TV, Stuart the Home Gamer, and I'm here again playing Final Fantasy XIV, <laughs> Heaven's Ward. If you're watching me on Twitch, I didn't go anywhere. I'm still here. If you're watching this on YouTube, welcome to a new episode. <laughs> so I'm going to continue right where I left off, which is with quest number four. Now at this point, there is not a, uh, a predetermined order in which these must be completed, but I'm going to go ahead and try to complete these in some sort of order. So I want to reference the uh, <clears throat> Final Fantasy Wiki. And uh, so the quest I just completed was called The Better Half. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is going to be Over the Wall. So it's going to be one of these two over here. So we got the two sons of the uh, Lord of House Four Temps, Artoriel and Emanelian. And whichever one has the quest, uh, Over the Wall is the one I'm going to do. Hopefully it's you. Onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards. Nope. We're going to decline that real quick. We're going to go over here. Hopefully yours is uh, called Over the Wall. It's just so I can keep track of my progress a little more efficiently. If I jump around, I'm going to start losing track of where, I'm, of where I'm at and of the progress. So this one's Over the Wall. Where, where I'm talking here to Art Torrell. Lord Art Torrell is less than eager to brief you on his mission. Well, I'll go ahead and accept then. <laughs> Let us begin anew, Master Stewart. I am Sir Arturel de Fortemps, eldest son of Count Edmond de Fortemps. You will forgive me. You will forgive me my outburst. I hope. I meant no disrespect. I merely consider myself equal to the duties entrusted to me, unlike some. Archivant has spoken of you often, and you are even half the man he claims I should be glad to have you at my side. To the matter at hand, then, we will be assisting my esteemed compatriots of the House Durandere and Desmal. You are f aware of our friendly rivalry, I take it? Aye. Well, suffice it to say, the prospect of assisting said houses does not fill me with joy. However, it is the will of the Holy See that we set our sides our differences at this crucial juncture. But we shall speak more of that anon. First, we must need we must need secure transport to Falcon's Nest. Let us make for the Chocobo Station stables and foundation. All right, let's do that. So we're going to the Chocobo Stations and Foundation, wherever that may be. So let's go ahead and proceed. We're going to leave that quest alone where it is. So that way we can get to it when the time comes. When the time is right. In an order. I'm trying to follow an order, remember. <laughs> so Chocobo Stable. So we're going to go to Foundation. Um, let's actually click over there see what, what uh, Ether Right Shard. So it's near the Sky Steel Manufactory Ethernet Shard. So we'll go ahead and teleport there from here. Save some time. So Skyfield, Sky Steel Manufacturer. That's why I tuned to all these things at the beginning <laughs> to make my travels later easier. I'm going to do this for every town we get to. Uh, I'm not sure how many towns there will be or there are. Um, hopefully the Chocobo's up here. I'm not going the wrong way again. Oh, nope, it's all the way down there. All right, so let's go back around this way. We don't want to accidentally kill ourselves. Ooh, should I set my home station to this Ethernet? I don't know. We'll see. We'll check that out. We're not there yet. So, the Chocobo to Keep. Let's talk to this guy. Speak with the Chocobo, Chocobo Keep and Foundation and Journey to Falcon's Nest. Greetings, Master Store. I've saddled a black chocobo for your journey to Western Highlands as per Lord Arturel's, Arturel's instruction. This will be your first time riding a black chocobo, may I ask? If so, you're in for a treat. As I dare say, dare, dare say you know, this particular breed can fly. Given the right conditions, they can also carry you quite high, too, even over Snowcloak. You needn't worry about directing the bird, of course. Like all porters, she's trying to carry you to your destination all by herself. So just relax and enjoy the view. Oh, and be sure not to relax her grip, will you? Two hands on the reins of all times, if you please. <gasps> oh my god! I can travel! Alright. Yes! Let's do this! I get to fly already! I'm excited! 
flying chocobo is all I've ever wanted. <laughs> so let's see what this looks like. The Corthus Western Highlands. Some nice cinematography here in this mission. To the frozen wastes of the Western Highlands, once verdant tracts made pallid by the calamity. Beyond the towering wall of ice, to lands long forsaken that the Knights of Ishgard strove tirelessly to reclaim. To the hamlet of Falcon's Nest, once abandoned, now freed of its pall of snow and ash, he came. Okay, so I'm at a new place now. I'm at Falcon's Nest. Uh, before we uh, talk to Art Torrell, we're gonna tune to this etherite to make sure it's a different shape. To make sure we're Gucci. We're actually in a new town now. There's an outpost perhaps. Yeah, it looks like an outpost, perhaps. Alright, so we're attuned. Let's, uh... Okay. So it didn't actually show me flying on the chocobo. So I'm kind of disappointed there. I thought it was going to show me flying on the, on the back of the chocobo. Alright. So let's talk to Arturia, Arturia. The world looks quite different when viewed from the back of an airborne chocobo, does it not? I still find the experience strangely liberating. To business, Sir Redwald is in charge here. He should be expecting us. All right, let's go talk to this fine Sir Redwald. Oh, and finding Sir Redwald right over here will be the uh, the end of this quest. Redwall looks a bit like Baelish from uh, Game of Thrones. Maybe not. Maybe it's not so much. It has been far, far too long, Lord Arturel. Who might be your companion? Pray for, oh, pray forgive us for our lateness, Sir Redwall. I present you Sean Stewart, ward of House Fort Temps. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Lord Drillmont spoke of you. I, Sir Redwall of House the Rande, do bid you welcome to Falcon's Nest. We are both eager to contribute to the settlement's restoration. How may we be of service? Before we speak of that, I would be correct in assuming that Master Stuart is unfamiliar with our recent history. Then, with your permission, I shall recount the tale for his benefit. He does look like Baelish. As you may know, Falcon's Nest was once a hamlet with a small garrison of knights and some few villagers, and then came the Calamity. When it became clear that the snow would not stop falling, we had no choice but to order a complete withdrawal. The settlement in the entirety of the Western Highlands were to be abandoned. Abandoned? To the heretics? Lady Isar and her kind have walked these lands with impunity ever since. Aye, but no longer the Holy See has commanded the reclamation of the Western Highlands and the expulsion of the heretical elements. Falcon's Nest is key to accomplishing these objectives, but as you can see, rebuilding the hamlet will be no small undertaking. Our craftsmen require support and protection. Any assistance you can offer will be greatly appreciated. As promised, we of House Four Temps are at your disposal, Sir Redwall. You need but tell us where to begin. Oh yeah, man, I got you. Cool. Complete. Alrighty then, if you're watching me on Twitch, you know what time it is. It's time for me to stop the stream really quickly and do my outro. So here we go. 
Thank you very much for watching. I'm Sean T.D. Stewart, The Home Gamer. If you're watching this on Twitch, please check me out on YouTube at The Home Gamer. If you're watching this on YouTube, please check me out on Twitch at Sean T.D. Stewart. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tune in again next time for the next episode where I complete the next quest. The quest I completed here today was called Over the Wall. The next quest is going to be, I believe, Work in Progress. So again, thank you very much for watching. Tune in again next time. Bye.